any genre, any artist, if they want a stage, K Poppin's Tiniest Stage is ready for them. Today, we have a very fabulous individual into the studio.、Uh, I had to go back and see the video that we had of us, and it was about seven, eight years ago.、Uh, I did say that I'm going to be fangirling today because I personally love his music as a.、Uh, As an artist, and he's also an amazing human being. We've got Denny in the studio. Hi. Ah! Hi, you suck. Long time no see. Long time no see. Happy to be back. Happy to be back. Well, I,、oh, so I'll be very honest with you.、Uh, after you were on our show, I tried to find ways to get you back on the program. Oh. But for a while, you were kind of busy, not necessarily in Korea.、Uh, you were kind of out of Korea doing a lot of other things. Then、Correct. for a few years,、yes. I wasn't doing K pop interviews. Oh. Yeah, I was, my program kind of changed genres.、Right. So we only got a chance to come back to K pop、right. only like a few months ago. Congratulations. Yeah, so thank yeah. you. And then I saw you draw music and I was like, nope, I need him. <laughs> I need、yes. him into、and、the studio. And here we are right now. And here we are.、Um, thank you. Thank you for having me. But, d a n i e l just, just in case nobody knows who you are, which is very rare, but I mean, just in case they're living in like a cave or something like that, could you please officially introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. I'm Jen Neo. And、uh, how would I say this? I'm, I started out as a producer here in the K pop industry, and now I sing my own songs.、Mm. And for the last year, I've been putting out English releases.、Mm. And、uh, here we are at K pop in. Yeah. yeah.、Um, now, I, I want to kind of go back into like, where are you originally from? Because I feel、right. that you know,、uh, when anybody is on my program, I feel that they'll just naturally assume you are a certain、uh, nationality. So, where is your background? Right. I almost forgot to you know, say. <laughs> I was, I'm, I'm from Singapore. Okay. I was born in Singapore. And then、uh, I came to Korea in, when was that? 2000. 12, I would、mm. say. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while. It's been、yeah. a while. And,、um, and then I, I actually debuted with a Korean song.、Mm. Um, this was seven years ago.、Mm. Oh、and that's、God. why we had him in the studio. <laughs> that's why we had him in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and my only Korean song.、Mm. Yeah, before that, I was just producing for K pop. Right. 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 Okay. So today we're going to completely go back and ask all the questions that any of my listeners might have thought of asking and didn't get a chance to ask. Or, you know, just we're going to get to know you. It's like a,、uh, a crash course into who d a n i e l is. Let's do it. So you said that you came to Korea as a producer. So how did that start? Like, what initially got your foot in the door? Like, how did that happen? Right, so I went, to, I went to Berkeley College of Music with,、okay. for, for a while, and that's where I met Henry Lau. Okay. Right. And,、um, that, the Henry we know, right? The Henry everyone、uh, knows. Right, right, right. Okay. Right. And with, with that, he,、um, we became friends.、Um, and then he was there for, for a short time. But I went, I went back with him to Korea, and we did his first solo song off of the Super Junior M、uh. um, album. Okay. I think. Yeah, and, and then after that, he had a solo album. And, I, and I, after I graduated, I came back here and started my full time、um, producing career here. Right. So,、yeah. technically, being friends with Henry kind of started your Korean leg of your. I would say yes. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I owe him a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Well, I mean, because、mm-hmm. I doubt you guys like planned it out that way, though. No, 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 no. Like,、Not、you guys、all. were just like, yo, let's, let's do a song together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you know, be releasing a track. So, could you help me out? And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And that just pretty much is how everything has gone. Right, if you know Henry, you know he doesn't plan that. <laughs> I know, I'm just playing. Hey, hey, no hate here. No hate. But, <laughs> but,、um, but yeah, it just happened like naturally. Right. Of,、yeah. Well,、uh, I want to say, though, because Henry, and I, I do know Henry as well. Henry, bless his soul, he is all over the place. Like, he can give、right. you 10 different people in one sitting.、Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that.、Uh, yeah, like,、oh. he's got a lot of different personalities and he、right. will talk about many different things.、Right. Um, but, you know, like, staying friends and, you know, working with him, I feel that in any conversation with any artist from any background, friends and work sometimes never work out, or it's kind of like the best. Combination、oh, yeah. for certain individuals. What's it like for you guys? Yeah, don't, don't stay with them. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Because I was his roommate for a little bit. Okay. Yeah.、Um, 
yeah, they, we would argue about who who clean what, you mm. know, like, h uh, that's not good. Okay. Yeah. But then the work, we we never had a problem with work. Right. Yeah. Right. There's gonna be differences, but that's how you you have to sort that out. So, right. Right. Yeah. Right. Anyways, right, right. so other than that. Just don't stay with them. Right, right. You don't have to see them 24-7. You know? You're already working with them. Right. Yeah. So you draw the line at yeah. certain places. <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, currently, how long have you been in Korea? Because, I mean, obviously, you've probably been going back and forth and whatnot. But, like, are you living in Korea? Are you, like, going back and forth? Like, how has that been recently? Um, I mean, since the corona um, uh. period. I, I've I've been here. Okay. I've been here. I've been living here. I've been doing all my work here, um, shooting the new content here. Mm. And but before that, it was it was a lot of back and forth. Okay. Yeah. If, I know that it's probably not going to be easy to choose, but if you were to choose where you like to be more, like the U.S., right. Singapore, Korea. Oh, I'm so comfortable here now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so comfortable. Hey, delivery. Ooh, <laughs> it's it's so good. Yeah. Yeah, when it comes, I whenever like people in the states are like, "Oh yeah, we love DoorDash." I'm like, "Come to Korea." Yep. DoorDash <laughs> is nothing compared to what you could get here in Korea. No. You, you 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 do anything, it's like it's right there. Yeah, yeah. it's right there, and everything is kind of close too. It's a real we're a pretty small right. country. Then you become Koreanized, where you, like 30 minutes is too far. <laughs> We're like everywhere yeah. else in the world. 30 minutes. Yeah. Oh, that's that's short. Korea, 30 minutes. <gasps> Bottle. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But it's the same for Singapore too. Because mm. Singapore is smaller than Jeju Do, mm. actually. Oh. Yeah, so if it's 30 minutes, it's like, no. I'm no, not, I'm, I'm not going. Nope. <laughs> I'm spoiled. Yeah. I ain't leaving for 30 minutes. No way. You come here. Uh, so uh, one of our listeners asked if, uh, if we go back to last year, what was one of your favorite moments of 2022? Since we're only about two, not even two months into yeah, the brand even. new year. Mm -hmm. uh, what was kind of like the best moment? Because I mean, honestly, last year, a lot of things were starting to open up again. Like, you know, we're slowly transitioning out of lockdown for the whole right, world right. so what was what was one of the highlights for you Ooh, i said i i would think i had a very rough last year okay um but but i started to push in the, the english music direction mm. so i released like four songs and i've been running ever mm. since with that and we've been shooting videos after videos but um i think the highlight was the till the morning music video okay where i had to i got all my friends in one one video and it was right. fun yeah. it was a lot of fun a lot of fun okay a lot of booze too <laughs> <laughs> that's why it was fun that's, <laughs> that's why it was fun uh let's kind of talk about your career so you said you start off as a producer that's right um but uh, you've got a killer voice thank you thank uh you. so how did that transition happen because i feel that Uh, as an artist, you know, like if you started off as a singer, uh, the production part can probably be like a, a side job almost. But if you started off as a producer first and then the singing comes in, I feel that for a lot of people, like if one is your money right. and one is a passion, right. you tend to not invest in the passion too right. much. Correct. So how did everything kind of transition over? What initially started getting you into singing more? Like, wh where was that transition? I would say when I started um, producing, mm. like I was, I was interested in pr production because I wanted to make my own music. Okay. Right. So, so I had to improve my skills on, mm. on production, but I got noticed from my production much quicker than I got noticed from my voice. Okay. Because, um, I don't know, there was, you know, there was thing... Um, I was in the Chinese industry for uh -huh. a little bit, right. uh, which is the Taiwan, you know, China. Uh -uh. Um, you know, like the, you don't see many baritone voices like this, right? Uh, yeah. So, but when I started production, it took me to it took me to Korea, it took me to the states, mm -hmm. took me to everything. So I focused on that for a bit okay. first, and when my skills got better, I think I started to sing guide vocals too, right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, but my voice was was a little too strong. For Ooh. a guide vocal, really? Well, I can yeah. see that. Like it was, it's a little bit too distinct. Right, it's very overpowering. Yeah, I would say for a guide, for 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 example, I, I do something for an idol group, uh -uh. and if I sing in in my own voice, I I kind of have to like make it sound different. You know? Right, right. So they because I feel yeah. that in uh, a demo version, if I was Correct. to receive a demo from you, yeah. I would feel. 
influenced too much. Right, by, obligated to try to sing the way you sang the song. Right, 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 right. right, right that right. happens to to my kind of voice too, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that, but being able to sing of obviously helped with um, the production side. Right. So I thought I could you could wrap up the whole thing mm-hmm. nicely. Yeah, I mean it was a natural transition into okay. this, which I wanted to do mm-hmm. um, from the start. Actually, right, right. So but, it's just like a a little bit of a detour, but you you end up coming back to what I feel you like production. Right. Is just, I feel like it's a especially in this generation, it's a whole package mm, thing mm, mm, because mm. you cannot just sing and hope to get produced. Right. Um. I think it's first thing. It's not budget friendly. Right. <laughs> no, very realistically, <laughs> right? <laughs> and yeah. if you know how to do everything yourself, like you, you could get something started right that and i feel that right now the sources are out there like i feel that uh, for in earlier generations yeah. it was like you had to play an instrument but nowadays you don't necessarily have to play an instrument not at all if you have a good ear for music i feel yep. that you can pretty much just start playing with like a yeah. midi set or you know whatever you can do it on your iphone uh, yeah you, <laughs> you can do you can do it on your phone these days yeah, too yeah, so yeah. yeah there's so many there's so much more out there that i feel that you can kind of spark your interest oh, yeah, into absolutely. um and i i want to talk since we're talking about the production and like you wanted to write your own songs yeah. um in korea for a very long time and i feel this is like in the states too when it, you're a production person mm-hmm. where you're yeah. a songwriter top line writer whatever you are a beat maker you have your signature sound like you know dr dre has his signature sound like everybody Ooh. has their signature sound neo and his production team they right. have their signature sound right akon and his production team have their signature sound you know like young Jin has his own oh, signature sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. but For this sure. could be a blessing but also a curse right. reason being is you tend to have a little bit more um of like a stubbornness in the the songs that you create. So yeah. yes, you're going to be chosen for it, but also it can box you up quite easily. Right. And I feel that for you, who has such a beautiful voice and such a unique sound, right. I feel that mm. naturally you would write songs for you. Ooh. You know what I mean? Like unconscious, like unconsciously you would write a song. Yeah. Thinking for like an artist like yourself, like, you know, you think right. of your voice, your ver- your baritone sound and mm. you're like, you're like, OK, I'm going to put the chord this way. I'm going to go a little bit minor. You, you like you start that out. Right. And then all of a sudden FX is just like Amber's like, no, then <laughs> give me. And then you're like, yeah. Uh, 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 so what happens? Do you do when right. <laughs> when, that happens, when that happens? Like when Henry think, comes um, to your studio and mm-hmm. like is like, I love this song. Give me. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? Well, that has, has happened, happened a lot, a lot of times. Like I feel, I feel like um, every artist, will, even the composers, whatever, mm-hmm. they're all artists, right? Right. So they will write songs that they like well, first. Of course, you're the first listener, mm-hmm. right, for your own song. So there's there's no avoid avoiding that. But I, also, I had to train for many years to kill the ego. You know oh. what I'm saying? That so there's no for me when I produce for people that there's no there's no um, I have to do it my way right or something like that but of course we have to keep the quality mm. but to kill the ego takes a couple of years it does yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's it, dead. It, it, it's fe- dead it feels like it would though because it it wouldn't be easy because i mean all of your songs are your babies like oh, you yeah. put hours and hours right. and you know so much time and effort into making these tracks yeah, absolutely, yeah. if somebody's like oh i don't like this top line you're like it took me like 10 hours to make that top line. You know what I mean? Like You're just like, hmm? I'm like, get out. <laughs> I'm not looking at you. I don't have time you. for you today. <laughs> I don't have time for you today. No, no. no. Uh, so with the production, uh, after working with Henry, I mean, obviously, I feel that SM artists have really loved your songs. But do you remember the most memorable production you did, like in the beginning? Like one of the most harder, more challenging ones, maybe because like an ego issue uh, or maybe it was just like a language barrier or uh you know whatever it may have been right. like one of the first few songs that just it really sticks with you till this day oh i mean it's it's all blended into sections i would okay. say working with with um, at that time was closely with henry and we had we had a production team called noise bank mm. And we worked closely with SM, mm. mainly regarding the the projects that Henry was involved in okay. as well. And and there were times which you know I kind of look a little Korean on the a little too Korean. 
so they would think that I was I wasn't you know showing showing enough respect and stuff like that. Ah. Yeah, that that happened back then. Okay. But un- until I learned how to you know speak Korean and I couldn't speak a word. When yeah. you first got here. When I first got here, yeah. How so, many languages do you speak now? Then now, I mean, I I wouldn't say I, my Korean is like. Ugh. Why you're good? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, but I mean um, English, Mandarin, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's about three languages. About three, yeah. Okay. Uh, two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Uh, okay, then. Um, so with with I, I think with the sorry get back to your question right like I had a good time with Amber, mm. produ- you know producing Goodbye Summer mm. as well. It was fun. It was just us strumming a guitar and then expanding on that. Mm. Um, with Henry, he's always making weird requests. Like what? <laughs> no, Henry, we, we love you. <laughs> Sorry, we love you. <laughs> right, right. Why, no, but what? He, he's he's doing so well right now. Oh. I'm sure. Um, but um, back then it was it was uh, us trying to find our sound as oh, well. Oh, of like course, you said, of course. Signature sound, like um, we were four of us. We were in noise, like we made a thing, noise bank, and we're just trying every day. We 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 were in this apartment, Hill State, and we had to um, build a booth. It was Did a it small, uh, small booth. We were all sweating inside. Take off all our shirt <laughs> and recording. <laughs> yeah, because you can't. Uh, and this is what the soundproof. Uh, pl- those little studios that yeah. you can't. The reason why they you make them is because a lot of YouTubers that do ASMR they have those as well. Oh. Uh, you can't turn on the AC because you hear the sound in right. the mic and then like you can't have a fan on for the same reason and so because there's no ventilation in there it just it gets hot really fast so right, wow right 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 okay that, that kind of makeshift booth <laughs> right no but with in a proper studio you could have oh yeah right? like yeah. we ours is soundproof here even though you can kind of hear off the walls because our walls are yeah oh. but, did but, not know <laughs> but we do have soundproof <laughs> right. like you know right. ceilings and stuff like that but yeah okay uh yeah if you do go to like to a bigger recording studio it's not that bad but right. you know if you're doing it out of the house or you know a place Oof. like that you're it's no. not going to be easy yeah um so any song though like uh maybe when you guys were doing noise bank as like the mm-hmm. group you had at the time uh as a group songs that you guys like maybe liked the most maybe the song that took forever to make or maybe because sm or the artist that was singing it constantly made you guys do like retakes of it or like re-recording well, we had i mean it's very common to have revisions of the song even in of course. the pr- production side of course as of well, course of course which i think goodbye summer took like eight Eight revisions. Ouch. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's crazy. Um, but you know the SM SM has a certain standard that they mm. they want, and and we we were new and we had to we had to learn as well. Right, right. Yeah. So maybe like um, there was this song one four three that's which is Henry's. And oh. All now you look at it is like oh Kurio. You're like oh it's kind of old. Right? No, it's not. One four three. That's such a still a hip song. But anyway. is it now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can no. I can only say that because I, I had a I had a part in it. Right. Right. So, right. Right. Yeah. 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 But um, it was it was fun memories though. Okay. Because like, we had to learn how to do what was um, you know, sad to say we had to follow some trends. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, that it was trendy at the time to do a little bit of the EDM sound, mm. a little bit of that that synth. Mm-hmm. You know, but um, something yeah, you normally fun. wouldn't fun, yeah. put into a song. Something I wouldn't gravitate towards. <laughs> but I, you know, I've I've grown a lot as well in of this course. in this um in this time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, we've got a lot to talk about today. Obviously, one of the best things about our interviews, especially today, is we're doing it in English, so I don't have to translate, and that means we have a lot more time to talk about some fun stuff. But Janio's here in the studio. He just dropped a brand new single called Like California, and me being a California girl, it just takes me back. So tell us a little bit about the song before you sing live for us. Right. Um, like California is uh, featuring um, Davida from AOMG, and shout out to Davida. And um, she was kind enough to hop on this track. Uh, so I wrote this track with uh, Amos, my guy, right, sitting right outside right now, mm. actually. Um, it was, it's about just, you know, the feeling of you driving down, you know, and feeling the wind rushing. Um, yeah, just 
pretty much a chill vibe kind of song. Okay. Right, with a little F for beat in there. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you did take a sip of water. Are you are you ready to go? Can we just like play the we track? Could, yeah, we should just go. We can just go. We can just yeah, go. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna turn off the lights so we can get you all looking pretty on that. Uh, so we mm. got ooh, we got Daniel in the studio for our tiniest stage for today. He's gonna be singing his recent single, Light California Live Music. Q. Satisfied, she wanna ride all night. You and I can make it right. I'll be your pilot, taking off right here, ignited. Where you wanna go higher, feeding the fire, desire. I'm with you, it feels like California. Something in your eyes We could pretend like We're all alone, don't you know Don't you know We could get reckless with it Like it You and I can make it right Cause I Sir. For those of you just dropping by, Denise is in the studio today for our tiniest stage. And I told you before, I'm a huge fangirl of him as an artist because I love me some good vocals and a great R&B artist. And he is the whole package. So if you haven't put him on your playlist yet, make sure today is the day that you do that. We've got a lot of hearts. Some of our listeners are actually from Singapore. So they're very excited that you're here in the studio. We have a few of our listeners actually in California, too. So oh. they're they're really vibing with the track today. There's a lot of claps. There's a lot of hearts and everything is coming in. If you have more questions and messages for them, guys, send them in. I'll try to read them during the show today. So uh, you said that let's kind of go back to your musical start because you were going to Berkeley, right? Yeah. How did that happen? Were you always interested in music or what caused Ooh. you to start majoring in music? Long story. It's fine. Yep. I mean, I, mean, I might time. have to, I might have to cut <laughs> you off mid story, but it's fine. I mean, right. you know, we'll just have Ashley not come into your show today. Oh. So. <laughs> just kidding. Right. So, I mean, I started piano when I was three, I think. Okay, three like to four. most Asian families, yes. Okay. Like most Asian mm -hmm. families, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, I think <laughs> we, it's either we violin or piano, right? Could be. Uh. Could be. <laughs> Why not the harp? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Right. So, anyways, uh, that progressed into because this was classical music mm -hmm. so i did i did um not sure if i told you this before i did opera opera no you did not no oh my god you did i opera? did opera yeah oh my and I, goodness I, did, um, I was a conductor for a bit are you opera. serious yeah <laughs> 
different <laughs> image now. Very Much. different image. Very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I did that. I mean, it, it helped me get like a good platform, I would right. say, like a basic. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And I really, I realized I really liked um, uh, R&B and mm. pop and, and, and then jazz theory. And that's what I, did, I progressed to doing. Okay. Right. So that was, you know, that whole thing. I did, I experimented with a lot of things. I, okay. had, a, I had a rock band. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. The more you know. The more you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Now, uh, the reason why I kind of wanted to start asking this is because um, I feel that when I, I think our listeners might agree with me today, but once you hear your voice, right. it sounds very natural. Like it sounds like it's effortlessly coming. I mean, just you just open your mouth and those amazing vocals just come out. Mm. But because um, I think that a lot of people feel that you know if you're a big mama type vocalist, then yeah. you practice hours a day. But like if you have more of the you know baritone, very like you know whispery type of those vocals, then you're just kind of naturally born with it. So did you ever make your voice like as an artist to like try to sound a certain way like you know train your muscles to do a certain thing or uh, how, did you just practice do you still practice like how does the vocal part come for you Ooh, practice is is huge okay because to sound to sound natural it, it takes I think um it takes effort mm. and also um what do you call that it takes a certain revelation. Oh, okay. To to because you don't want to sound like somebody else. You want to well, sound like how how you are. Right, 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 right. Like and when people, when the listener hears it, they 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 think it's you know coming from a natural place. Like you're mm. in your element. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's if it's the same for Big Mama. I think, for example, uh. when you're saying like even they have to practice every day. I'm yeah, sure. right, right, right. I'm sure. Like and they're powerhouses, right? Uh. And, but they sound natural. They sound in their element, right? So true, like, true, true, true. All the great singers, like. So how it? so? How many hours do you practice? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I don't. I could. I can't practice like focusing on the vocals right now because I have um I have uh, my production job to take uh. care of, and and as you know, when I do production, I sing right into the mic as well. Right, so right, I right. use that chance to practice. Okay. And and. Because I'm basically indie, uh. I do, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure if this is too getting too far, but I, what happened is I have to design the album cover. I have to do right, 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 right. You're like, all hands on, yeah, all yeah, yeah, hands yeah. on deck. So yeah. there's there's no um, there's not much time for for practice I've done when I was a kid. But right, right, right. As a kid, I practiced a lot. Okay. Yeah, to hit the high notes, you would um, if you have no soundproof room, you scream into your pillow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, the reason why I'm I'm asking a lot of these questions is mm -hmm. because I feel that everybody has that artist like born in them, mm -hmm. but it's like, do I act on it or not? And so I feel that after each artist interview, especially for our tiniest stage, a lot of my listeners right. are inspired that they want to kind of pursue music. But I do think it. that <laughs> it, it's also one of those like when how you know mm -hmm. do i have to practice like those vocal coaches say that you have to do this every day like kind of asking do you have your own some since you said you did opera we had a few interviews with opera singers some opera singers say that they don't sing purposely mm -hmm. over a certain amount of hours a day because it wears their vocal cords out right. so i feel that every artist is different like some artists need mm -hmm. 12 hours to practice to like get their that right. workout type of feel done and then mm. some don't but like even now right. you're constantly using your voice but like do you do anything special to maybe keep your voice at par or like in its best condition or uh you know you do at least breathing exercises to kind of keep your your mm. breathing right. consistent I think, I think it's a muscle memory thing okay because when you're young that's the breathing techniques are very important right uh. so you have to breathe deep right and and use your diaphragm, whatever that means, right? Right, I mean, right, you, right, right. I, I have to show you like physically. Uh, 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 uh. Um, but after that, you forget about it. Right. So it's like you natural. Know, yeah, natural. Mm. Natural. Like even even for painting, right? You gotta forget about all the techniques and. True. You, so so you just you train with the basic techniques and and for example, like you said, how many hours a day? Mm. Right? I would say don't think about the hours. Okay. Just do it whenever you feel like it. Mm. Like um, for me, I picked up guitar too mm. at the later. Stage of my, mm. yeah. 
So what would happen is I'll just put the guitar in my living room. Every huh. time I see it, I'll just pick it up and and do it. Okay. For, for 10 minutes until I don't want to. Oh. So so literally just play with it. Consistent. Much. Yeah. Uh. Just be consistent with um what you're doing, and mm. and it's gonna get better and better and better. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Interesting. But you also have to have the right direction. So. Right. If you have a mentor, it's good. Okay, so yeah, early on, especially having somebody yes. to mentor you and whatnot is is a lot better. Do you remember the fastest song you ever recorded? Fastest? It could, yeah, like it could be a, one of your songs. It can be a song that you gave to somebody else. Like mm. you know how we have like sessions where they're yeah. like four hours and stuff like that, where Ooh. you rent uh, a studio and yeah. stuff. It could have been like less than four hours. It could have mm. been just in your own personal studio where right. you were able to finish it. What was the fastest song that you finished? Um, as a producer, recording for somebody else, or for myself? doesn't matter. Both. Both. I, this is an interesting one because I recorded um, four minute back then. Oh. Yeah. So I did one of their songs, right? Okay. And then I because I'm I'm on the kind of there's two type of producers and directors as well. One you take every take, and you make um, you know just for safety, mm. right? I'm the kind where I just take what I want. Yeah, when, once I got it, I got it, right? So when I when I did that, all of all of them were used to the Previous. The, the longer mm. me- method. They came out like, what? It's, it's <laughs> are you sure it's done? Like, ginger can chan well. Okay, yeah. So, but I, you know, took it home, processed the thing, and yeah, I'm glad that you brought that up. So, uh, I've actually had uh producers like Janio doing that with me but i wasn't used to that i was used to what four minutes was used to so i was in sm when you worked with sm and they are very right. particular about how they record to the point where they were like oh could you not breathe during that vibrato or something like oh, that yeah, or like yeah, make yeah. it sound airier or like you know breathe into the song a little bit more like they are very specific about how they want a song to go uh they might even say like hold the note out and then add a, vibra- a vibrato later like they get Could really be. specific right. um and so we would take take after take after take after take right. um and then as i was not working with and SM die people, inside <laughs> no literally die inside like you walk into that recording with full confidence you walk out of there Ooh. being the t- tiny speck of dust because yeah, 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 your yeah. confidence is shattered but um i worked with artists like you mm-hmm. where they're just like yeah sing for us a few times and then i would sing and they're like yeah we're done i'm like yeah <laughs> i mean come again <laughs> yeah you need to have someone that that re- it really knows what they're doing mm. too right right so i mean um i just I, I knew what i had to take okay and it was it was done what song was it do you remember oh it's called um no love. No love. Mm-hmm. Four minutes. No love. That was one of the fastest songs he ever was able to direct for. for direct. A minute. Correct. Yeah. What about your songs? Um, my songs. Ooh, I take long. Why? I take long because because I go back to it. I have to the what you call yaw you uh. to go back to it every day, right? No. It's, okay. So, I so was, that's why I was gonna ask you this is because like as a producer, like when you're regardless of your blood type mbti whatever you want to blame it on your your <laughs> zodiac whatever you want to blame it on yeah. um i am the type of person that don't doesn't know when to stop Ooh. um so like if you give me a project that has an end like there's an end mm. to it mm. then that's great so like you know report there is an end like my right. conclusion comes right. but as a song Mm. Like you said, if you're the producer, if you're the one that's in charge, yeah. if you don't have a due date, yeah. when do you say stop? Like when do you throw right. in the towel and be like, no, I'm 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 content. Right, right. I think um the the politically correct way to say this is mm. um there there comes a time where you have to, you know, put your foot down and and you know, and just throw it out because <laughs> okay. and move on to the next song because it will never be be done. You could keep adding stuff. Right. Uh, yeah. You, that's and yeah, it's subjective to music. Right. Because I mean, even like with like California, I, I I know that some there's certain uh, producers like if let's say oh I like the kick here, but should we add some violins? No, maybe <laughs> some more string. 
No. Absolutely. Should we take, should we take it out? No. Yeah. Can we? Should we put some like chorus vocals in there? No. Yeah. Should I rap in here? You know, like uh, there's, yeah. there's yeah. the options yeah. are just fifty versions. Yeah, of it. there's like yeah. fifty versions <laughs> of the same song. Yeah, yeah. Um, is there any song that you had in your like Pandora box of archives mm-hmm. that you pulled out one day and you're just like, mm-hmm. I'm releasing this. I this this can't be in my archives anymore. Right. I this needs to see the light of day. Has there any mm. been a song like that? I'm sure there there has <laughs> been. It's been too many. <laughs> Like, do you still have a lot of sources in Pandora right. in your Pandora in my, box in my in your in your hard drive hard drive? Yeah, I I do, but I mean when I I cringe when why I, when I listen to my older stuff right right like Asher once said right yeah. when you start writing yeah. you turn it's like a tap mm. you turn the tap on it's like dirty water first you gotta let the ish run out and then now it's clean water <laughs> right so the, I, when I listen to my my old stuff it's is crap, hundred <laughs> like, percent crap. So I'm like, mm, uh, you know, I've I've come a long way. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, as we continue to talk, honestly, I feel I can talk hours with Jen in the studio today, but I I do have a job and he has a job too to sing. So uh, oh. blame it on me is the next track. Yes. Uh, what? song is this could you tell us a little about the song before you sing it live for us so this was one of the first songs that i um released in full english okay and i wanted to um, shift my direction into the english hmm. uh, realm okay so to speak and this song was catchy enough it was it was fun enough it was poking fun at like past relationships hmm. not necessarily mine but anyway <laughs> no, i'm just playing yeah anyways um but it was any exes yeah. watching yeah <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah it was it was it was a fun song to do and and a fun music video too if you haven't checked it out check it out there we go i'm gonna let you get another sip of water since we've been talking and laughing so much uh right. so we've got to new in the studio uh we're gonna continue on with the fun today i feel we're gonna run out of time really fast but uh we're gonna get a chance to have him sing uh his next track live which is blame it on me any exes out there Get ready for this one. Are Whoops. you ready? Yes, sir. All right, the music cue. Yeah. Started. I'm 
never let you know Let's just face it You can't change your basics Girl, I told you so Time to go I love my job. Oh, All right, we got Janine in the studio. He's just laying live for us. I always love getting a chance to hear these live performances right next to me. Anyways, uh, we are continuing on. Aaron, one of our loyal listeners, was asking, "Is there? do you have a desire to release uh, certain songs, but you just... It's like you have it, it's finished, but yeah, it's like it's, it's all about timing. Like you're just like... Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, like uh, estimate how many? Ooh, I have about... Three right now. I was actually expecting you to say like three hundred, but okay. <laughs> three hundred more <laughs> that I'm cringing at. Really oh, cringing yeah, at. <laughs> yeah. So it takes some time. It takes okay. some time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I want to talk back of uh, think about us because when you release think about us. Uh, yeah. You came on the show, and mm-hmm. I think the reason why a lot of people thought you were probably Korean is because your pronunciation and think about us is perfect you think so yeah your korean is like better than i my album was for me Ooh. but uh self burn i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> you you yeah. did an amazing job do you have any plans to release more korean songs um, i i i wouldn't you know like take that out of the equation right but um as of now i'm focusing on the, the english side of things first okay yeah yeah we'll we'll see in in the near future okay we'll see yeah. in the near future I'm really, normally when the clock ticks by, I mean, I hate it when it's the tiniest stage because time goes by really fast. But today it seems like time's went by way too fast. So we're starting to have to wind down the interview, which I don't want to because I feel that I can definitely talk with Jen in the studio like all day. Uh, But let's get to the important things because apparently in just a few weeks, you're having a concert. Ooh, I am doing a charity concert. Right. And this is with Henry. Right. And I think, um, I'm not going to mess up the other people's names. Mm. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we're doing it in, in Thailand. All right. So right. dates? where? Date is the 12th of March, okay. I think, in Bangkok. Okay. Yeah. And um, I'll po- I'll be posting more details on my social media, which okay. is, uh, just go on Instagram, G-E-N-N-E-O. Mm. Yeah. We're going to be tagging him on our post today as well. So don't forget to just like check that out too, so you can go directly there. The year has started, and since everything is now starting to open up, and you're already doing a charity concert and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and you've been releasing songs back to back to back, uh, what's kind of your uh, like bulletin board? Your ideal for 2023? Like, what what's the broad plan? Ideal? Yeah. Like, ideally? Like what? Like ideally, what I would like to do before right. this year is over. Ooh, I wanna I wanna put keep being able to put out like these in this new direction mm-hmm, this new mm-hmm, music mm-hmm. and um you know secure the budget to do that okay. uh, realistically mm. <laughs> no one says <laughs> that but <laughs> i'm putting it out there right like, anyways um but that's that's for now i okay. want to keep doing that and i won't i'm not stopping anytime soon uh because you've worked with some other artists in the past i've asked whenever we have a singer songwriter in the studio i always try to ask this because i feel mm. that you I feel that anybody's probably had that split second of a moment. So like while you're writing a song, you know, like you're getting the chords together, you've got the lyrics and like you're thinking about the top line, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Have you ever for like a split second thought, God, this would be great for like IU or like, man, I wish that I could give this song to like Beyonce. You know what I mean? Like, is there an artist that you would love to give your songs to that you would love to work with? Wow. I dream big. So many. Yeah, dream big. Like just big. Yeah, just give manifest everybody. Manifest. Throw, yeah, throw it out of the universe. Be like, let's yeah. have this happen. I mean, the weekend. Oh, there yeah. we go. Of course, Bruno Mars, mm-hmm. right? Like, I mean, the the big ones. They're mm. huge, though. I mean, manifest. Manifest. Put it in the universe. Never say never. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, nobody ever thought that BTS would be going, be Ooh. nominated at the Grammy. So. Right, 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 right. 
but here here we are and here we are so yeah manifest it right. put it in the universe you never know right. with the way that people social media network these days yeah, i this, say like, this year i think i would i would be doing a lot more featurings as well oh I would be having a lot more featurings like this is what part of the plan okay yeah so get some more people on the track the weekend I'm just <laughs> <laughs> oops yeah. I will be waiting for that. I will be all over that too. Yeah. Uh, before we go, um, is like for more personal goals, not just like right. for a business, but this year, is there any personal goal that you want to set for yourself? Maybe like uh, sing more or release more my songs right. or make a six pack or, you know, like. That's good. <laughs> That's exactly make a six pack. Make a six pack. <laughs> Get in shape. <laughs> You're in shape, no. sir. Thank what you, are you talking you. about? I mean, uh, I mean, um, just I, I guess for this year, um, uh, it's more like be healthy. Okay. You know, uh, just just try to enjoy the process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more than more than looking at the what's at the end of it. You know? Okay. Yeah. So like enjoy the process just a little bit more. Yes. Uh, you apparently stress yourself out, I guess, a little bit on those. I guess everyone does. Well, that's right, yeah. kind of true, too. That's yeah. definitely true. But I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, are Stress. you planning on staying in Korea then? Is like your base ground going to be mostly in Seoul? For now. For, for now, now? Yes. For now, yes. Um, trying to, I think still back and forth is the is the answer. I have so much crap here. Mm. Like actual mulgon. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> physical uh, things physical in Korea. Physical things here. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it'd be... It'd be hard for me to to you know just at once go somewhere. Okay. Yeah, but you know just back and forth is is gonna be fine for now. Okay. And then we'll you know we'll take the plans uh, further. Well, I feel that after today's interview, there might be some more contacts as well Ooh. to you. So I'm guess I th that's why I want to kind of put that out there oh. because mm -hmm. I don't want like people outside of Korea to think that you're like not in one place and right. not get a chance to reach out to you. Right, right, right. 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 So you're basically going to be you. staying based in Seoul for the time we, being. We have been okay. based in Seoul. Right. right. Um, and just traveling back and forth wherever we need to okay. go. Yeah. Okay. So everybody just remember the, the base right now is, is Seoul. So if you need to contact Daniil for, you know, shows, collaborations, please, songs, anything, <laughs> reach out to him. Yeah. He's pretty good at reading his DMs too. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is. He's very good at reading his DM, so you right. can contact him. He should be able oh, yeah, to I'm, contact you as sure. soon as possible. Yeah. Uh, we have to say goodbye to Neo. So before we go, I would like you to say goodbye to our listeners, maybe even say how it was for today's show. Oh, it was great. It was so <laughs> good. I haven't been on a, a radio for so long. Really? So thank you for having me. Well, this is definitely going to open up some doors to maybe, I don't know, if you're going to be staying in Korea you might be a weekly guest. What? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. We'll, don't see. Know. we'll we see. We might make him sing every month or like week or something like that. We might make a segment Ooh. for him to sing. Nice. <laughs> you would be willing to do it, right? Yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, okay. He said it on air. I've got I've got it on air. It's absolutely. official. All right. Well, we're going to get a chance to take a listen to one of my favorite tracks of Daniil. We actually get a chance to hear him sing in Korean. It's Think About Us. You're actually going to play that? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take you guys back. So that's gonna yeah. be a little cringe for him. Thank you so much Thank for being so much. with us, and Thank we will you. see you soon. Bye. Bye.